Captain Starlight and today we've got a very special story from Disney's Mickey and Minnie storybook collection. This story is called A Surprise for Pluto. One sunny morning, Mickey Mouse looked out the window. What a beautiful day, he exclaimed. Perfect building weather. His nephews, Morty and Ferdy, joined him. What are you going to build, Uncle Mickey? asked Morty. Oh, I don't know. Maybe a tree house? The boys jumped up and down. A tree house, Ferdy said. Can we help? Morty asked. You would be great helpers, Mickey replied. But there will be lots of tools in the yard. It might not be very safe. Why don't you take Pluto to the park instead? Sure, Uncle Mickey, the boys replied. With his nephews and Pluto gone, Mickey called his friends. He told them about the treehouse and asked if they would like to help. Soon Minnie, Donald, Daisy and Goofy arrived in Mickey's yard. Building a treehouse is a big job, Mickey said. Maybe we should split up the work. Great idea, Mickey, Goofy said. Why don't you saw the boards, Goofy, Mickey said. Then Donald and I can hammer them together. Minnie showed Mickey a special drawing she had made. Good thinking, Minnie. Mickey said, that will be one of the most important jobs of all. Goofy emptied his toolbox in a corner of the yard. The tools made a big crash and a big mess. Goofy found what he was looking for and began sawing the boards. After a few minutes, Minnie walked up to him. Sorry to bother you, Goofy, she began. I was wondering if you would cut some boards for me too. Sure, Goofy said with a grin. Just tell me what you need. Over by the big tree, Donald and Mickey worked together to make a rope ladder. When they were finished, Mickey attached the ladder to the thickest branch. He gave the ladder a strong tug. It didn't budge. That should do it, Mickey said. Once we finish building, we can use this ladder to climb into the treehouse. Just then, Goofy brought them a stack of boards. Here you go, he said proudly. I still have to saw the boards for the roof, but you can use these for the floor and the walls. Thanks, Goofy, Mickey said. Mickey and Donald climbed into the tree, pulling the boards behind them. The sounds of their hammers echoed through the backyard as the friends started building. Across the yard, Minnie pulled her hammer out of her tool belt. As she picked up the first board, she realized that she had forgotten something very important. Minnie hurried over to the big tree. Do you have any extra nails? She called up. I left all mine at home. I have some, Donald said. He fished a box of nails out of his tool belt and gave them to Minnie. On the way back to her project, Minnie stopped to see how Daisy was going. Wow, Daisy, Minnie said. You mixed up a lot of paint. Daisy giggled. I might have mixed a little too much, she said. Do you need any paint for your project? Thanks, Daisy, Minnie said. That would be great. Soon, everyone was hard at work. Buzz, buzz, buzz went the saw. Bang, bang, bang went the hammers. Swish, swish, swish went the paintbrushes. Mickey's backyard was a very busy place. Later that day, Morty, Ferdy and Pluto came home from the park. The boys couldn't believe their eyes. Wow, they cried. This is the best tree house ever added Ferdy as they scrambled up the rope ladder. Beneath them, Pluto whined. He couldn't climb up the ladder like the others. Mickey understood right away. Don't worry, Pluto, he called. Come around to the other side of the tree. Pluto trotted around the tree and found something that made his tail wag. A set of stairs that was just his size. Minnie made them for you, Mickey explained. Now come on up and join the fun. Pluto ran up the stairs. It really was the best treehouse ever. Thank you for joining me for the story. I'm Captain Starlight. Mm -hmm.